The objective of the Pack Station 3 is to pack boxes of parts on pallets or shelves. The equipment used during this process is the air float table, adjustable height lift table, shelves, bander, and taper. The tool used during this process is the stamper. The materials used during this process are the boxes of parts which weigh about 60 pounds, pallets, tape, and banding material. These photos depict the pack station 3 and the dimensions of the workspace. Considering the worker height is about 5 feet 10 inches or 70 inches tall, this affects how the employees interact with the product and equipment throughout the day. The process for the pack station 3 is to first retrieve the box and then slide and position the box in the bander. The bander is activated with the foot and once that task is complete, the box is positioned in the taper. Once that is complete, the box is lifted, carried, and positioned on the pallet or shelves. Some irregular tasks observed are to position the pallet on the lift table, adjust the height of the lift table by the foot pedal, and assist co-workers as needed to pack and close the box. It was noticed that awkward postures and forceful exertions were observed from the employees to interact with the workspace. Forceful exertions are required to lift, carry, and position boxes on pallets and shelves. Forceful exertions are required to fold the cardboard box flaps while forward bending of the torso, inward rotation of the forearm, and backward bending of the wrist is seen in order to close the box flaps. Forward bending of the torso and extended arms are also seen to close the box top and to position the box on the pallet. Forward bending of the torso, inward rotation of the forearm, and extended arms are required to position the box in the taper and contact stress between the hands and edges of the packing straps is seen as well. To summarize this process, the pack station 3 is a medium to high paced job requiring forceful exertions to form the box and retrieve, push, position, and lift the box of parts. In addition, awkward postures of the torso, arms, and hands is seen and localized contact stress between the hands and edges of the packing strap and between the torso and edges of the air float table were observed as well. The following recommendations are made for the pack station 3 tasks. Consider utilizing an adjustable height and spin table for the product to be packed and the completed boxes with parts to decrease forceful exertions and awkward postures. Investigate methods for sliding the boxes onto the pallet to decrease posture stress, localize contact stress, and forceful exertions. Consider using layer dividers that allow the product to be slid into position. Investigate material handling devices like hoists for positioning boxes on the pallet to decrease forceful exertions, localize contact stress, and awkward postures. Thank you.